Hey, what's up, guys? Flutter Game back at it again. Uh, we're going to be talking about playoff matchups, primarily the playing today. Uh, we'll start off with the East. Marvin, what do you think about the Hawks versus Heat matchup? So I think just I think the Heat have more security in their game than the Hawks. I feel like the Hawks are kind of just on and off. They're kind of win loss every other game. I feel like, and if you really want to go that they're winning and losing every other game, they just lost the other day. So if they win next game, they'll lose that game again to play in. And then you have – that means you would have the Heat playing the number two seed, which is the Celtics right now, which I think is honestly a better matchup for the Heat too. I think they have a better chance against the Bucks, And then the Hawks too. I mean, I think eight through ten in the play in is honestly just kind of up for grabs still because I feel like the Hawks, the Raptors, and the Bulls all kind of – you never really can rely on any of them to win or lose. So I think that's kind of where I stand right now in the East playing, at least. I think the Heat will get that seven seed. And then I do think the Heat, the Hawks will get the eight seed, but I do think the eight seeds are a lot more open for whatever team comes out of nine and ten as well. So um I just uh obviously the Heat, they have Jimmy Butler playoff Jimmy, you know, he's a different animal. But I this thing that scares me about the Hawks, obviously they have guys that can get hot and hurt, Dejounte, Trey. Even uh, Bogdanovich, uh, sometimes we saw yesterday Collins, he was really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty good for they, they have a really solid team. They just seem to not mesh. But mm -hmm. if they just mesh one game, they could really be a trouble, especially in the play. I don't think they're going to make any more of the playoffs. That's why I'm worried about the Heat, because they often struggle to score, um, unless it's Jimmy, obviously. Uh, uh, Jimmy and Tyler are really the only uh, constant uh, providers of offense. Uh, even Ty sometimes Tyler is inconsistent. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think uh, the Heat will prevail in that matchup, uh, which would make for a good 9-10 uh, matchup. Heat versus Raptors. What do you think about that matchup? Heat or not, sorry, Bulls versus Raptors. Bulls versus Raptors. I think Bulls have a higher chance of winning that because I feel like the Raptors are just so inconsistent. Because usually the top four is Fred and or Pascal Siakam. I feel like they would either underperform in playoffs, I feel like a lot of the time. And yeah, Freddie last year was terrible in the playoffs. He, yeah. Well, they're just inconsistent overall, too. Yeah. I mean, Fred, he'll go for 41 game and then he'll literally score three the next game. And same with Siakam. They're both just they can they'll do whatever really. Like you never know though. I mean they, they hang their hat on defense because they have yeah. really long and players rebounds. and rebounding. But uh um against the Bulls, they're they uh they got some uh, for the, it doesn't sometimes it just doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, the offense they got Zach, they got Demar, they just uh, they'll outscore you um, when they're hot, obviously. Yeah, yeah Zach has been on my off streak. And yeah. Pat Pat Bev. Bev. Since Pat Bev. yeah, and then Pat Bev, he's been a pretty good addition for them, too. Yeah, I uh, so I I would take Chicago on that matchup. I would take Chicago too, I think. Um, and Chicago's uh, I think a dangerous matchup for the Hawks as well. So, so you guys both yeah. think that the Hawks are going to not get the playoffs? Not top eight in the playoffs? No. Um, I'll take the Hawks with the Bulls. Okay. Because you were saying you might take the Bulls. That's why I was. And just because I, I can't count on – well, to be fair, I can't count on either team. You, that's what uh, I was thinking. You can't really count on any of those three teams, right? Um, but the team that I trust the most at that group is – Exactly. And I feel like they have the most talent in that way, too. Yes. And then their coach, too. I mean, obviously, he's new, and they're still kind of figuring it out. But, but I'll count, I'll count on Quinn Schneider to outquick Philly Donovan. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, agree. I think the Bulls' only maybe advantage, especially seeing off last season when the Hawks were in the playoffs, is rebounding was an issue for Clint Capella, which is kind of weird for him because he's a top rebounder in the league. Well, he's been having the issue kind of on and off the season as yeah. well, too. He's... So I think that'd be the only issue. But honestly, the Bulls also don't have very yeah, the Bulls, big. The Bulls don't rebound. Lamar DeRozan is power forward, too. So. Yeah, that's true. Which Lavonte Green at back would be like six five, I think. Yeah, um, they they definitely uh, whether or not they upgrade at the four in the offseason or blow it up, they yeah. I mean they just need to upgrade at the four. Yeah, um, unless Patrick Williams is that lead. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the West. So the plane is not set. Only really Timberwolves versus Thunder. That's what we assume will be the matchup. Uh, nine and ten. So well, that I think that will be that will be the matchup. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Um, so, uh, who has the advantage? Yeah. Um, that one's honestly tough. I feel like, I mean, I think Minnesota definitely has 
more of the talent and experience. So I could definitely see them coming out with that one. And they have home court too. And I mean, obviously every team is better at home to an extent, right? Um, and like I said, especially now, if, if they're healthy in the play-in, I think they will win that game against the Thunder just because they have Rudy Gobert and Cat, so they have a way size advantage over the Thunder. Thunder don't have any bigs, and if you have Rudy Gobert getting rebounds, and then you have Cat, who's also getting rebounds and scoring threes and scoring in the paint, I just think that's going to be a hard matchup for OKC, so I do think Minnesota will probably end up winning that. Um, oh. But OKC has their young scoring as well, but I do think they, they end up losing. I mean, the only reason... I'm taking OKC to win that game. Uh, one, I'm a big OKC fan. I'm a fan of what they're doing. Uh, got the best young core in the league for sure. They also have the best player in the team in the, team, in the matchup. Um, and generally, like versus the Hawks and the Heat, I'm taking the, the Heat because they have the best player. Uh, Shade, he's only been in the playoffs. Not he's been in the playoffs twice, but he's never been in the playoffs as the number one guy. Yeah. So we'll see how he does. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great, but I'm really excited. That I'll take the Thunder. I'm a little biased for sure. Do you do you have the record throughout the regular season versus OKC versus Timberwolves? Because I think OKC has the advantage on the regular season. They might. Uh, let me see. They might. What, what do you think about the matchup though? The matchup. So, point guard. I think it's Mike Conley, right? The yeah. Eagles. He's guarding Shea, and Shea, first of all, is a very shifty guy. And I well, think, I think probably, Jay McGann. Yeah, they're probably from McGann. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to do this. But even like with Mike Conley on the floor, some, he's going to either guard Josh Jay or Jalen Williams. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Uh, there's going to be a mismatch one way. But then you also have Gobert in the and the Cat. And that's... Which will kill them because... Who's the center right now playing for OKC? Well, that's what I'm Jay saying. Will. That's the problem. Uh, they, they have sides. Yeah. Um, But also, Cat, you know... Uh, I don't like to use the word being a little soft. Uh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't yeah. like to back down. He likes to spot up. Yeah. Um, and Gobert. Uh, but he has not high. He has on the side. Yeah, he, he has the side. He rebounds. He'll get the rebound side. The Warriors are going to have to, I mean, not the Warriors. The Thunder are going to have to make their shots. They're going to have to uh, get back in transition. They're going to have to get out in transition. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Transition gonna have to get hot. I think that's so. Uh, yeah, and Jay Young's gonna have to be hot too because he's been kind of cooling off in the past two games for sure. And they're 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 all sitting today too. Yeah. So, uh, and then also the Thunder are actually one in four or one in three against Timberwolves in the season. Really? Yeah. They lost the, the first score? game. Oh yeah, they the they lost games by like seven, ten, one by seven, and lost by two. So they were all close games. So either team can definitely take that. But I, for the last two games, one of the wins that they got, Cat wasn't playing. I know that because he got hurt in November, and those were both in December. Um, I, I think it's gonna be interesting. Is Lou Dort healthy right now? Uh, I healthy? think they should all be healthy. I know they're sitting them, but I think it's all just... It's going to be interesting how they're going to guard uh, Ant. Yeah, yeah, it'll be Ludor or J-Dub. They'll probably take turns. Um, yeah. They're going to have to slow down Ant. He's... Yeah. Uh, they're going to win, issue. score. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's had a few cold games recently, too, though. But I think he's going to turn up. We saw him in the playoffs and playing last year. That's true. Even well, yeah, that's, that's the other thing with the Timberwolves, too, though, is you have... They're still kind of rebuilding the chemistry with Cat coming back, too. Yeah. So that could cause an issue for them as well. For sure. Yeah. All right. Um. So let's talk about the race for the five, six, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They're all within one. It's all one game difference. So, so let's talk about the current five seed, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, who they, they're playing the Blazers tomorrow. Uh. So I'm 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 guessing they'll probably no. Yeah. They're, they're playing the tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm guessing they'll probably secure that. Though. Um. Yeah. But it all depends on if. The Clippers win today. Who are they playing? They're playing the Blazers. They're playing the Blazers. So the Blazers are on a back to back. So I I wouldn't even be too surprised if Golden State sits a few people because it should be an easy win, but at the same time they might play them just to secure that win. So that's that'll be interesting too. So yeah. Um. So Clippers play the uh Timber uh, Trailblazers and then probably the rest of the Suns and then in Phoenix, which could cause some changes. I, I'm sure they'll. Rest they'll probably guys, yeah, yeah um, because they'll probably win tonight. Yeah. So uh. I'm I'm going to take the Clippers getting five because if they if they win out they automatically get five. So they have the time. Yeah, players. they do. They, uh, they do. So I'll, I'll rely on the Clippers getting five, and that will set up my favorite first round matchup: Sun versus Clippers. Yeah, that'll be that'll, that'll be interesting. That'll be so fun. Um, I mean, the last time we saw that was and then you have final versus the Raptors. Oh man, there's so many so many storylines in the season. Yeah, really that and just good players too. I mean, they both have really. Tyler has been players. getting hot too. In the last he's been a he's, he's he's climbing into that top five territory that he 
that he's out that he's that he is he's he's player he is yeah. yeah i mean he really is that kind of player um and then i'm guessing golden state will get that 60. uh they have a cupcake schedule yeah they do and the lakers they have the jazz too which they probably will take as well but yeah but since the even though they do have the tiebreaker over the warriors but, but they the warriors would be have to leave. they would have yeah they would have that one game i think the them. warriors they're gonna play curry maybe first yeah. First half. They'll they'll play him as long Jordan as Jordan Poole is gonna play. Jordan play. Jordan play, I think will Jordan Poole will play, I think, the entire game bro. Yeah. Clay Thompson, I think, also be like a first half guy and then they'll just see what happens yeah. from there. Yeah. I I mean the Blazers are actively tanking. They're they're That's no surprise. They basically are playing a G. Yeah, I, I also just think the Warriors kinda of wanna get warmed up for that spot. Yeah, yeah. especially if play the younger guys like Jordan Poole, Kaminga, Kaminga's Dante. gonna have to play a big role. Oh uh, yeah. And because Wiggins is going to have to work. Yeah, and then back. Wiggins is going to have to. He's going to be the primary player. He's going to warm up. Play off for them, probably. He's warming up again. And if they do get that 16, they'll be playing Sacramento, which I think is a favorable matchup for Golden State in terms of I would rather play Kings and the Suns. The Sacramento, yeah. they're not a bunch of scrubs. They'll attack the rim. That's the thing that the Warriors said. Uh, struggle with the most is from protection. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so they're going to have to. And then Sacramento on the other half, they struggle with defense just in general, too, which Warriors have an elite offense as well. So, but I think also rebounding again. Kevon Kevon did great last season, but he's only going to get up against the bonus. So he also he averages, I think it was 11 and a half to rebounds. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the leaders. Yeah. yeah. I think your Fox is going to blow past Curry on defense. Well, that's Actually, why that's why you need Kaminga. Uh, yeah. He's probably going to be the primary or defense chance to be. The, anyway. Peyton. You're a uh, that's true. Oh, he's back. 12.4. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12.4 rebounds for him. I'll see. Darren Fox is just. He's explosive. He's going to eat. He's going to eat. Uh, especially against the Warriors. Uh, hopefully, Wiggins is uh, playing on a size level. And it'll be a fun series. I'm excited for Malik Monk, though. I feel like he's going to be an underdog in the playoffs and he's going to go off. Or, just, or he'll be ice cold. Or he'll be ice cold. That's Malik Monk. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He might uh, be. But obviously, the teams have a ton of guys that are getting good. Kim yeah. Murray, Harrison Bonner can get hot. The question is, with those guys, is Kevin Carter. Yeah, you'll probably have Draymond playing one of the big guys too, so he might yeah. he might keep one of them from scoring the uh, amount of points they normally would. We saw, so. we saw Kevin Herter uh, in the playoffs with the Hawks, twenty seven points in the game seven. Yeah, so, that's pretty that's good. Guy. And then he came on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about that. Would leave the Lakers and Pelicans, Lakers and Pelicans seven and eight, seven and eight, and no specific. I mean, well, I, they that, could, yeah, they could end up either way. I think I well, think Pelicans they'll stay. Play the Timberwolves. I think they'll stay where they're at yeah. because. Even if the Lakers lose, I mean the Pelicans can definitely win. I think the Lakers are going to win too, which means they both they both win, uh, or they both lose. It'll probably stay. So I don't think there's. I think just five and six might switch for so the West. Yeah. So let's talk about Pelicans versus Timberwolves. Um, no, that's uh, all right. Uh, uh, who do you like in that matchup? Um. Uh, I think the Lakers is an honest one. It depends on. How- if there are any of them are feeling it, because that's how it's been all season long. Yeah, I mean you have the same problem with the Pelicans too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but they have more guys that I think. In last season, they just went off. I can call him. He got a groove. Ingram went got a groove. I think it also comes down to Bobby Trier that night against uh, AD. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was going to it too. He might. Or he might not. I mean, AD might have a. AD's going to be a bad night too. No, he's yeah. going to be in himself. Uh, he's going to have. To. Yeah, yeah, he has to. And same with LeBron, his last, I think, two or three games, he's been pretty cold. So he's going to need to get that. He's going to need to warm up, too. In the, he can't wait till it's like a half hour yeah. thing, especially especially in that scenario and against the Pelicans. They're a good team. They can score. Because now, I mean, you've seen the past few games. you got Herb and Murphy, too. Yeah. They can drop 20, 30 points. Ingram can drop 20, 30 points with a double-double with assists. Mm-hmm. Then you have McCollum, McCollum too. Yeah. I mean, they have they have a lot of good scorers, for sure. I'm sure that Murphy is going to struggle with playoffs. Uh, I think Herbert Jones, he did great last season in the playoffs. I think Her, uh, Murphy will struggle. I mean, so he I feel like Murphy's getting a lot of spot up looks. True. Um, true. And I think if Brandon Ingram will if he keeps finding him, if, he, if Brandon Ingram keeps keep playing the way he's playing, I think they have a really, I think they have a really good chance. I mean, I think, I mean, it's honestly hard to say who will make the playoffs because you have seven, you have know, Lakers, Pelicans. That's a tough one to really say who's going to win. Then you have that one. I mean, even if they play OKC or Minnesota, that's a, I mean, I think all those matchups are going to be very interesting, and any team can really win the West and, and the play-in. 
Um, so let's, oh yeah, so let's talk about the the loser of, I think we're all going to probably take the Lakers in the seventh matchup. Yeah, I think I'm I'm going to take the Lakers just uh, because I feel like they have, they have LeBron and AD. Oh, I would trust yeah. LeBron and AD. Yeah, and then and you, you, you have plenty D-Lo. of scores. Troy Brown's been D low. I mean, they got good defense. Malik Beasley. Oh, he's got good defense. Like, yeah. He could he could cook for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take the Lakers in that matchup. So then we got Pelicans versus Minnesota or okay, so you said Minnesota. You I think you took Minnesota? Yeah. Okay. So Minnesota advances. So let's talk about Pelicans versus Minnesota. Um, they're actually playing this Saturday too. Or Sunday, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So that'll be that could be really interesting because so I had that, that again on Tuesday. Yeah. So that'll be a good preview for that matchup. Yeah. Um, I think I'll take the Pelicans in that matchup. I trust Brandon Ingram more than I do Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is the lead though. And yeah. but he's young. He's young. Um I Brandon the way Brandon Ingram has been playing is no short of spectacular baby. Oh yeah. I mean I think his last ten he's average ten assists. Not yeah. ten. No, uh, not, not quite, game. but he's been he's been uh, getting the assists for sure. Eight assists a game. Uh, okay. They, they have Jaden McDaniels who will probably guard. Him. Yeah, I, I also think. But the thing is, who's going to guard McCollum? Mike Collum, because he's going to get blown by. He, McCollum is just going to score. That's I, I, I think get the Southern class. So, uh, have a more high powered defense as well. And uh, yeah, but, uh, but I, yeah. they're going to lock him down. Uh, I mean, so the Timberwolves, when they're in the half court, their defense is really, really good. But uh, one thing about the Pelicans, they like to push it. Um, and they can push it uh, because they get a lot of rebounds with the balance units. Uh, uh, well, so when Zion's healthy. Yeah. Know, so yeah. Movies, uh, but they got lots of big wings that could rebound. Uh, yeah. They could push it. And, and that's where the Timberwolves struggle. Defensively. Yeah. And then yeah. Ingram, last 10 games, 28 points, 8.5 assists, 6.8 rebounds. So he's doing, he's doing everything, really. I mean, and I, I think... I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for him because I knew he's he's been able to we do that. We all know he's capable. He just... Never really took the role of being as much of a playmaker as he is right now. And the offense and it's great. has really been really good. I mean, all of them performing pretty well, and that's got true. Yeah. That's the thing that I always always hesitant on about the Pelicans. They never had a number true one playmaker. Major. Yeah. But Brandon Ingram has stepped into that role, and they've been elite. Or not elite, but they've been really good since then. Uh, yeah. I will say the game against the Grizzlies did scare me a little bit, considering the fact that they weren't fully healthy and playing. And that uh, ended up going to OT. I would like, the game like that. Yeah, I, I don't think that should happen, but obviously that doesn't mean they're not legit either. I mean, they can still... The Grizzlies are a deep team. The Grizzlies are a deep team too, Drew. I, I think they're probably one of the deepest teams in the league for sure. So it, it was a tough matchup for sure too. I mean, yeah. I think people underrate the Grizzlies when they hear Ja is out and Dylan Brooks or whatever because they still have great players. Yeah, I league. think one thing we all forget about the Grizzlies is they're really... Good. Yeah, I mean, John Morant is top. And then recently, too, Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard has been scoring on high levels yeah. recently, I don't know which might they're... hurt them, too, because I don't know if he'll stay consistent like that for too much And more. I don't know if they can play him. He's a liability defensively. And, That's uh, true. Whichever team gets it, if it's the Lakers, that too. Or I think if they're going to need an offensive score, they put Luke Kennard in. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. If they need a smart Dylan approach. Brooks. Well, and then the other question, too, is I'm not sure exactly what – Brandon Clark and Steven Adams' status is as out of the playoffs. They were both out for the whole playoffs. Yeah. So that could hurt them. That could help them because I was going to say if they were playing the playoffs, that could hurt them too because of chemistry again, right? Um, getting yeah. different roles. I think with AD playing, it's going to hurt uh, Steven Adams. Yeah, I mean, you still have Jaron, who might win defense player of the year. Um, But still, I mean. But even if Steven Adams was healthy, uh, I guess not a. I, but if Jaron is playing and is uh, not found, then they won't need a Stephen Adams. Okay? He would that's probably true. be put in the pick and roll. And that, that's Aaron. the other liability about uh, Jaron, though, is he might he might play 15 minutes because he keeps fouling. We saw that in the playoff last year against the Warriors. He could not stay in the game. Exactly. Well, even just this season, there's been plenty of games. He's not getting the minutes he uh, should and wants to, obviously, because he keeps fouling and they yeah. need to take him out. I think the Grizzlies are favorite in this playoffs. I I think they're probably honestly one of my favorites in the West, but they I, do I don't like the Grizzlies. They do have the weak spot. I like maybe two players on that team three, but um yeah, uh they struggle with half court offense. Um, but um, I I think a lot of other teams that they're going to face do as well. So, um, and their defense is exceptional, obviously. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And I mean even their offense. I mean, but, uh, Roddy, he's 
think about him, Roddy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been really good too, actually, for them. I mean, obviously, he's he's young, so he has some bad games, but he's had some really good games. They have some great really young good. players they really that do. they draft. They really do. Yeah. Really um, okay, so let's talk about now that we have settled the playing matchups. Let's talk about uh, the one eight matchup in the East, which I think we hit the Hawks to move on to eight. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so that would be Bucks versus Hawks. Bucks and Ford. Uh, Bucks and four. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. see it. I can yeah. Yeah. Holiday against Trey Young, if, especially if they're healthy. It was talked Trey Young last season or last playoff. He struggled terribly. Uh, but that, yeah, that, that was, was against the Heat. That Heat defense was crazy. The Heat defense is crazy, which is also, I think, yeah. one of you got one Drew of Holiday the Hawks too. Uh, Drew Holiday, uh, Trey Young dropped fifty against Trey Holiday in playoffs. Uh, yeah, I, guess, I mean, they, they have great defense, but I do think the Heat defense overall, and especially against the Hawks, is way more, like, pertinent. I'm, actually, they have I'm, I'm kind of talking to myself to give them the land a game. Yeah, I, I think they yeah, might I think, get a I game. Think, I think it's going to be five-game series for the Bucks. Yeah, I think they'll get one game. Um, Not much to talk about in that series, though. So No, I mean, it's really just... Yeah. So let's move on to... Unless that. Trey Young goes 50 and 15 every game. Uh, yeah. yeah, so Boston, I think, or Boston, Miami. Miami. That I think that can be a really good dog fight, actually. Austin and six. And six. Uh, so Jimmy's gonna give him two games. He's like that. Player. He's gonna give. I million think percent. It's going to game seven. Uh, that, I, I, Jason Tatum was terrible in the playoff last season. No, no, he was terrible in the finals last. Or, yeah, but you got Jimmy Butler not going here. I think. And they played they, last season too. You have Rob who and Rob Williams who unfortunately you don't know how many games he's gonna play. I think a lot of people forget that Celtic as a Heat were one missed shot away. Exactly. That's what I was about to say, too. They were, they were against they they almost made the really final well. against the Celtics yeah. Yeah, last season. So they, and they, I mean, they have obviously this is the difference. Overall, the same players. I think, I mean, yeah, I guess the Celtics are deeper now, I think. So yeah, that, yeah, that, that hurt them. Well. That attitude, like Griffin. That yeah, they, they have more backups for Williams not playing, too. Yeah. But I yeah. I really think either team can honestly. But Jalen Brown is a ma- is a machine. Uh, I think either team can take that though. Uh yeah. Uh no, I'll give it. Oh yeah. Uh, th- I think I think that the is the really... series that I think has the most upset potential. Yeah. Although I will take the Celtics. Yeah, I'm gonna take Celtics too. I okay. think. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about three six seventy sixers versus Nets. Yeah. Tell that storylines right there. Uh, Ben Simmons is a point on this, but. Yeah. Uh, James Harden returning to Brooklyn. Let me share with Boos, probably. Um, what do you all think about this series? I think I'm gonna have the Sixers taking that just Sixers. because Brooklyn is too young right now. Yeah, and they don't I have think... enough. They don't have. I mean, they're they have great talent and stuff, but I don't think they have enough like actual star power. You know, I love they have bridges, but they don't have enough developed star power. I love McCover. He's he's a star player, but I don't think he will be very great in the playoffs. And he can do everything. Um, not even that, but even if he does great, I just don't think he has enough backup I think for game, them to um, win I think it's four games. Cheers. I don't think they have series. enough. I, yeah, I think so. I don't think they have enough to win four games. I can see, uh, oh, so like what you said, I can see Mikel struggling in his first playoff series as the number one option. Uh, I'm going to need Dan to help out a lot. Maybe Cam Thomas. Was good last he's been, uh, he's been really a good leader, though. Too. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's third in the league in assists since he got the play. We'll see if Cameron Johnson yeah, can do another nasty dunk. I mean, he was one of the only players in Nets history to have 10 assists in the first quarter. Yeah, they definitely That's, have the talent to steal a game or two. I think I'll have the yeah. next five, probably. I think Joel, he's struggled in the playoffs. He's on a mission. He's going to win his first MVP. Uh, I'm going to say, unfortunately, I'm just going to say, Simmons is going to be good, probably, in Philly. <laughs> I don't. He's not playing. He's not playing. I, but he'll, and he's already been. He'll be on the bench for sure. Yeah, I don't even think he will be showered. I'm too. gonna take Philly at six on that one though. Yeah, I'll okay. take Philly five. But I think we all have Philly against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So four five. This is one of my favorite matchups as well. Cleveland, uh, Cleveland versus New York. I'm gonna have Cleveland winning that because they have home court advantage. I think that that That's honestly, I think that is the the main reason really. It seems because they are. I think they're they're one of the like top three best teams at home. And they have four games at home. They can win on the road too. They're not like the Warriors on the road. So I think they can def- they'll definitely win that series. That's Cleveland in five. Whoa. Oh, okay. I mean, I can see it. I wouldn't be too. Five. Um, I mean, it's the Knicks, though. They're yeah, pretty. So, I mean, <laughs> you, you saw Julius Randle on RJ Barrett. Yeah. Uh, so, so the, the playoffs versus the Hawks. And uh, what is Randle coming back? 
that is true. When is Bruno coming back? They said he would be ready for playoffs. I mean, to be fair, though, you do have Grimes quickly and Obi right now, who scored 30 yeah. against the Pacers, who are tanking, but still, I mean, they nobody got... was expecting all three to get. And quickly got, what, 39, I think? He almost got 40. But uh, the the Knicks have a lot of guys that can kill you. Uh, True. Especially on offense. They're they're really deep. Uh, they're great. They're great. Defenders. They have great defense. Defenders. And I think yeah. that was that um, another. Uh, but so, yeah, to speak on Cleveland, uh, one of the best defense, the best defensive in the NBA, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I think they or they allow the fewest points, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so, yeah, fewest points allowed. Uh, which is really good. Uh, only 107. Now. So, yeah, they have fewest points allowed, second best point differential, shooting fifth best in the league. And I mean, that, that that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And not every team, team is. And we've seen do Donovan Mitchell uh, go crazy in the playoffs. Garland with Utah. score. Uh, I'm excited for Garland's first playoffs. I'm excited for Mobley. He's uh, uh, finally going to be on the national stage. Uh, yeah. Probably the most underrated. Uh, big uh, in the NBA, in my opinion. Uh, I think uh, I missed him out on my defensive battle, I believe. Um, and I think he definitely should be considered. I, I mean, I looked at the stats, and uh, and I mean, even stats isn't always everything either, right? I mean, but also just watching it, exactly. Jared Allen, too. He's in the yeah, I looked at my advanced stats. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if Jared Allen's in the playoffs, yeah, with the Nets, he's been in the playoffs, yeah. But he, I'm excited to see him with that. Not with this guy gone right now. With, with his yeah, he has a way more league um, right now. Yeah, so I, I only worry about the Cavs deaths. That's why I, I think I got. Uh, it's either Cavs or Knicks in seven. I'll probably you think Cavs in seven. Yes, I think I'll give it to the Cavs in seven because they're at home. That home crowd should be good. I'm gonna say six just to concede Cleveland taking one on the road okay. against because the Knicks too actually, which is interesting at home, they are actually worse at home than they're on the road. And Cleveland is really good at home. So I think Cleveland can take that in six. Yeah. They're going to steal a road game and win all their home games. I can see it. Uh, uh, we all have to catch them. Every time, so. uh, let's go out west. Uh, 1-8, we have the Denver Nuggets versus the New Orleans Pelicans. What do you all think? That, that's tough. I personally am not even that big of a fan. I'm not, so I'm, I don't like the Nuggets that much, but I also, they're not that dangerous. They don't seem that dangerous to me. I feel like the Pelicans have a lot more power against the Nuggets. And then you have Jonas, too, right? He's playing Jokic. and shoot. I mean, he's, he's obviously great, right? He's top three in MVP. Top, one of the top centers, right? But he's playing against Jonas, who is, like, the same speed as him. So he's not going to get past him super quickly. I think that's a pretty good matchup. Obviously, Jokic will still put up MVP numbers. But I think the Pelicans have more power. And I think the Pelicans could take that seven. I said Nuggets in seven. Nuggets in five. All right. Wow. Here we go. Nikola Jokic is a top, top three player in the league right now, or top three in MVP. Voting. I don't care where you put him. And he's a top five uh, for playing the league. Top five. Okay. I think we forget uh, about the other guys. It's Jamal Murray. He could. They just. Uh, the Nuggets yes, just don't scare me. Yes, they're underwhelming, but so is every team in the which, West. Which might help I think them. it's just the fact that uh, because they're number one, we're like, oh, yeah, they're super underwhelming. Uh, number two, the Grizzlies, uh, they, they have tons of questions. Three teams, tons of questions. Four sons. I should have worried about that. But uh, I think, honestly, top four, I trust the Grizzlies the most, as in um, top four. How much that here? But uh, back to the Nuggets. Uh, KD's playing. They're, they're 7 0, 8 0 with KD right now, so maybe maybe they'll suit. Yeah. But um, well, I don't know. even though they're playing three, I mean, they probably won't, but uh, they stopped that record. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I I'm a big fan of Nuggets. We, uh, we last time we saw Jamal Murray in the playoffs, Bubble Jordan. Uh, that was a TJ one, but he was playing like it. He uh, he, got, he came, they came back from two three one deficits in the playoffs because, because of Jamal Murray. The old pitch was a big factor, but it was Jamal. It was the Jamal Murray show. Oh, it was. And uh, we've seen flashes of him getting back. Uh, he's gotten better as the season progresses. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. Uh, he's been getting his game too, I will say. Michael Porter Jr. He's uh, uh but I'll, I mean, with uh, Yoke shutting him up, he'll get tons of catch and shoot opportunities and in the bucket when he gets some. Uh, they got uh, underrated wing, underrated wing defenders and Bruce Brown, uh, and uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope. I, I think I'll take the Nuggets. Uh, home courts, there are, I think they have the best home record in the NBA. Obviously, you have to, it's an elevation. 
Uh, yeah, they actually do buy it like two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take Nuggets. Like second. Yeah. I'll take Nuggets. Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like they're going to take. I got Nuggets. I feel like the Pelicans can can stop them because right now they're number one in field goal percentage, and I think the Pelicans will lower that. And their their defense isn't that good, I don't think. And if they can keep that offense going, why do you think the Pelicans will lower it? Because they have a bunch of good defenders. No, not uh, big stuff. So. Jokic is going to absolutely torch you. I don't think he's going to score more than 30 points, though. And then you can, if you can keep Murray and Porter to 20 or less. We'll see. I, I can see the Pelicans taking down seven. I have no guess on seven. Uh, we'll see. Come playoff time. I'm going to be great. It'll be fun. All right. Let's talk about uh, two Grizzlies versus Lakers. It's just, all right. So I honestly like there. that matchup a lot as an entertainment-wise and uh, where that can go. Yeah. Uh, the league's uh, the most fun player to watch in the league or most electrifying in job. And then you got the Lakers, uh, LeBron, AD. You have the most electrifying playing player and a possible defensive player of the year on the same team with one of the GOATs, AD. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun series. Matchup. It's, it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, so sure. Jonathan, who do you take in that team? It's going to go to Game 7. Right? I, yeah, I think so. I think Game 7. I don't know who yet, really. It really could go either way. Yeah. Because it is how LeBron James will perform. Yeah, and nice. Anthony Davis. And it's a correction. Grizzlies have the best home record. I don't care. Thanks. Just a correction on the stat, though. Yeah. They're yeah, a better yeah, home yeah, record yeah. than the Nuggets. Which actually kind of surprises me, honestly. I didn't realize they were that good at home. But I think... We'll take Lakers in seven. That's very respected, Lakers in seven. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to take Lakers in seven just because I like them more, and they have also more power, I think. But obviously, they have their inconsistency and health issues more than the Grizzlies do, so that'll factor into that that series a lot. Yeah. Um, but obviously, there's no back to backs, so LeBron and he should be playing every game unless obviously they get hurt again or something. So you don't have that problem. So if they're playing, I think the Lakers pick that instead. I think LeBron's gonna show up this playoffs. Yeah. So do the Kings again. So um, I oftentimes I, I do this every year. I'm like, oh, AD's finally gonna be healthy this playoff run. It's gonna be electric. It's gonna be super fun. And I get disappointed every playoff. Well, the last couple years, at least the last two years. Um, but I'm convinced myself that AD's gonna stay healthy. He's gonna be back to bubble AD. I'll take both your size six. Okay. I think they'll take okay. Yeah. I can see them taking the game. I can, oh, I, I mean they, they have to yeah. to win the series. They have to oh, yeah, one yeah. game on the road. Oh, so they'll take two games on the road. Wait. Yes. They'll take two games on the road. Okay. I'm calling it. I, I like the I like it, but I, I Wait, do think math, right? I do they think they have to take two games on the road. They have to take two games on the road. Okay. They'll win two games. Good deal. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about the uh yeah, be... the uh three six. Who knows the next uh Kings versus Clippers. No, they can take one on their road to win six because they have two away. They can win at home if they win in six actually. So, okay. So yeah, we'll be three one. Okay. They could Okay, yeah. move on. Yeah. Kings versus Clippers. No. Uh Warriors. We have Warriors at six. Yeah, we have the Warriors. Six. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So okay. Kings and oh, we, we already kind of talked about this. That yeah. that's honestly a little preview of kind of just offense versus offense. I mean, both have good a few good defenders. I think the Warriors are better. I think the Warriors have better defense, and they have Steph, who I think will end up I'm like playoff stuff. Out, out doing Fox. I'll have to go with the Warriors. So I, I, I love Sacramento. I love what they're doing. I'm just so disappointed. How many, games the Warriors? Warriors. How many games do you think it's gonna take? Uh seven. Seven games? I I, th- I think the Warriors will only take one game. And that's the last one. Oh yeah, that will have to be. They'll have to win one game on the road. Yeah. I got Kings and seven. They absolutely the Warriors can absolutely not lose at home. They have to win their home games. If they lose a home game, then they because they can't win on the road. Unless that, <laughs> that definitely changes in the playoffs. They're ten and thirty. I mean, which might they are the worst. Not too far from Sacramento. But they are ten and thirty on the road right now. They have one more road game, which they should win. I, I got Kings and seven. Like it. I like the Warriors. Warriors Sabonis, I think, will be a big part of that. Uh, yeah. This this series. Honestly, Draymond will probably have to end up guarding Sabonis. Yeah, that's Sabonis. Yep, that's exactly why. 
I was just like Jokic in the playoffs last year. He bullied Draymond. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like the, the Warriors Jokic, like, winning that series, though. Um, Obviously, Jokic and it's probably not the same player. But no. I mean, uh, no, I mean, they're, they're obviously not, but uh, they, have they, have have they have a lot of similarities. They have a lot of similarities. You know, Walmart, Jokic. Yeah. Great about that. Jokic is still. I mean, uh, Sabonis so is still that guy. Great center. Yeah. He's a great center. Except for that, I think this playoff is one of the top. Oh, yeah. I mean, even this whole season, and I even think next season will be super entertaining as in just offenses and talent that will be in the league. So I'm excited for next season already, too, honestly. Like, I think – I just think most – I think every team has a shot at playing well yeah. next season. So let's talk about now Golden's uh, – not going to say – The Clippers uh, and the Suns. Clippers for the Suns. Suns have home court. Um, Suns have KD, Booker, Chris Paul, Aiton. Clippers and six. Clippers are deeper, and I think that's why I like Clippers winning that one as well. Russ is going to own Kevin Durant on the court. He's going to show – Yes. Yeah, you should have never left. I think honestly, although he's not on the OKC anymore, but I think he's gonna prove him wrong. We also got Kawhi Leonard, who's gonna who wants to be back in that championship. Paul George, Paul George, exactly. I I think it's it was so game. great in playoffs the past I think three seasons. Uh yeah, I think it'll be seven. He led the Clippers to the conference finals. Right? Exactly. He just didn't have enough help. Yeah, Paul George, Paul George back. Russell Westbrook's here. They have Nashawn Highland. On the team, Bones Highland's amazing. They just need to play him because he doesn't play. They don't play him every game. Um, yeah, yeah. I think Powell, they have Norman Powell, 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 who is scoring when they're starters? When Kevin, I mean, Chris Paul scored, Kevin Durant and Booker and I. Chris Paul sucks. Aiden, Chris Paul is old. Honestly, I could. He's washed. No. He yeah, he's washed. He's washed. You can't say he's not washed. Well, he's still a really good player, but he's, he's not. Washed. He's not a top he's, he's not who he was, for sure. But he's washed. You can't rely on him to. On offense. Um, you can't rely on him on defense. True, because he's yeah. using it system. Your two guards can't guard Russell Westbrook or Paul George. Well, Paul George is who I'm worried about. Russ is, uh, yes, he'll attack the paint and he'll hustle for rebounds and pass. And obviously, he'll be a great player. Well, rebounding is going to be the biggest shot. I think, so honestly, I could see them taking a Kobe guarding Russell in that because they might have to. Uh, they'll pass it. Oh, oh, have to. Well, uh, unless you put. Well, you know, Chris Paul's pretty, pretty good defender. But he's not going to guard Russell Westbrook. Well, we're probably gonna have to guard Russell Westbrook. Well, that's a lot of. Yeah, I told you what happened on PD. But Kevin Durant's gonna have to guard. Why? That would be the matchup of the And then game. Booker will take Batum. Right, Batum starts with Ingram. But it's a completely uh, different matchup for yeah, Clippers. Yeah. They're gonna have PG guard D book. They're gonna have Russ probably just guard Chris. They're probably gonna have the same thing, basically. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, they'll definitely have quiet. Um, I think at the end of the day. Good series again. <laughs> the Clippers in seven. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So I've got Clippers on that, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. I, think so I like that. I like that. Yeah. So let's move Thanks. on. Uh, so let's go back to the East. Uh, let's talk about the one four matchup because we all have the Clippers, not the Clippers, the Cavs, and the Bucks moving on. And that's where the, I think Cleveland falls out. I, I do too. I think the Cavs are the best. Bucks first, Cleveland? Yeah. I think the Cavs are the best matchup team. Against the Bucks, they don't have enough depth. It's a Mobley, uh, Allen. Yeah, that's true. But Giannis, so you're gonna have Garland and Mitchell too, right? I'm very biased for Cleveland. They're one of my favorite teams. I think Cleveland is taking them in seven. I can see this. You know, I uh, remember the Hawks versus Seventy Sixers uh, a couple years ago. Uh, everyone's like, oh, Seventy Sixers. Unfortunately, I'm going for the Sixers that one. I can see that possibly being something like, but I don't know. Don, it's Don Mitchell. I'm taking the Bucks, but this series could be dangerous for the Bucks. I'm taking the Bucks once again because of depth. Yeah. Cleveland doesn't have any depth. Yeah. Bucks and even think. their fifth starter slash six men, whoever you want to put a coral over the bird. Both of them you can't really rely on. I think Bucks Levert can score, but you can't rely on him scoring. Lever, he honestly, I, I like him, but unfortunately, he's not the scorer right now, at least. Oh, he can be. He can be. He dropped 40 all right, in one of the, Yeah, against the Celtics. Yeah. Yeah, but he's well, not. Celtics, once again, you, you're you not relying on him to score points. Um, and if you I are, think, then you know you're in trouble. 
I think it's surprising, but also not. The Bucks, I think, will have the hardest series throughout the entire playoffs. Uh, no, I think Boston will. Yeah, Boston mm-hmm. because they play Heat and then the Sixers. Or I mean, obviously, depending on who. Well, I don't know. But in our case, I think the East will have the hardest series. Yeah. Oh, I think the West will be more. I think the East have like the best teams. They have the best teams in the league, but because there's so many, actually, they don't so have so many. But yeah, the Kings have three. So the best teams in the league are all in the East, and it's crazy to think one of them will be on the second round. Yeah, one of them has to be. Yeah, it's crazy, and I think that'll be the Sixers, honestly. Well, uh, we'll get. Uh, so you taking Bucks? Yeah, I'm taking Bucks on that one. Cleveland. I have to go Um, I'm gonna go six. I think Bucks and six. I think we're gonna take more Bucks. I'll, I'll go Bucks and six. Cause like you know, Cleveland has like, got number three home court advantage. Number three because oh, oh, is oh yeah, yeah, that's right. They have third uh, unless I end up missing. We're gonna be a big part of that series. And, and then oh, Milwaukee, oh, oh, they have the fourth best, so they're right there with home court. Yeah, so I can see. And then obviously, obviously all their teams just winning. Obviously, no, Milwaukee. Not away. Yeah. Milwaukee, Milwaukee game seven. Yeah, Milwaukee's away record is a lot better. Too, so I guess the game seven so, will be Bucks. Yeah. At home. So let's talk about let's talk about Boston versus. Seventy six series. Yeah. I think Boston's gonna take that one. Boston series. I think Seventy Six should show. Yeah. Joel. I don't. I don't. I think sometimes they rely on Joel too much. Yeah. James Harden is not to step up. We wanted him to step up last year. Did not step up. I mean, at all. with how Max has been stepping up, they definitely have a chance. And I think this could go to seven. But I'm going to take Boston. I'm thinking Boston. Maxi chair. You don't look like you're very happy with this. Uh, no one is. You're taking the Sixers? I don't think so. I'm taking the Sixers. Okay. Every single year, the Sixers disappoints. And every single year, I'm cool. But this year, you have? it's going to change. I said something to tell you. What is your year? I'm just six years in I have Celtics and six. Uh, so here's my rationale for the Sixers. They have to do it this year. <laughs> Harden, I mean, yeah, Harden's a free agent. Uh, if Harden leaves, maybe and he's like, yeah, I'm out. Maxi uh, with all last playoffs. Maxi's been good. He's been but good. they have to do it. Good. They have to do it. Maxi needs to keep playing the way he's playing. Otherwise, they definitely don't. They definitely won't. It's too long. I think it really up. relies on Maxi. Dropping fifty points recently. He needs to do that again for this playoffs. Well, so, Joel's never been on the second round. Something that all these MVP fans we're talking about have done. Um, he has to prove that he's in the same caliber. Beat the Celtics. Uh, beat, uh, beat the Raiders. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be great. So I don't know. I, I hate to put the, the burden on Maxi, but at the end of the day, I think it really matters on what Maxi right. does. And he's great for sure. And I think he, he can be the X Factor. And I think he could be the reason they win too. But also, you can I mean you have Harden and Embiid, who you don't always know what they're gonna do, so that that'll cause an issue too. But I mean, I think it's going to seven. Either team could win it, but I'm gonna take Milwaukee in this case, or not Milwaukee, Boston in this case. <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, yeah. it can be seven. Thing, honestly, I think it can happen either way. Yeah. So let's go. That's out. why I went to seven. I don't think it'll go to seven though. Neither do I. I think it'll go either way in six. Well, I'll just have to see what happens in the playoffs. <laughs> All right, let's go out back west. Close accurate. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting. We'll we'll put up some brackets on the socials, and then we can uh we'll we'll show our brackets. Yeah, and then we'll react at the end see who it'll, it'll be interesting. It. It'll, it'll be fun. interesting, and then you guys feel free to comment your your picks in this as well and your favorites. It'll be it'll be fun to compare with everybody as well. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, so next up we got we had Denver moving on, and we had the Clippers moving on. Who you liking that series? I think we'll start with you. Denver versus Clippers, yeah. All right, let me start. I have to probably get moving on. Too bad. We have some nuggets. So if we're going Nuggets versus Clippers, you said, right? Yep. Uh, dude, the Clippers, honestly, they're, they're honestly one of my favorites, especially when they're healthy. And, I mean, they have, like we said, PG, Kawhi, Russell, and then Zubats, he's a good center. I don't like him that much, but he's a pretty good center. He can play defense, get boards. And overall, I think, I mean, they have Kawhi, who is a top five player, too, I think. Or maybe not. He's top five Kawhi, tier. Yeah. yeah. It's like five. I mean, there's like 10 players in the top five tier. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, but like a top 10 player, you have Jokic, too. And then I feel like Michael Porter isn't always super consistent. And they have, 
I, I mean, the Clippers definitely have better defense. I don't think that's a question. So I'm going to take the Clippers in six. Six, holy crap. They're gonna. I have they're to gonna win the series at home. Okay, I thought it the Clippers gonna win at home. Clippers in win. seven. Because the only reason why Denver won is because of the in that series. I don't think Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray will be very much there, and the Clippers have Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook. I'm gonna leave score really well. He has a good score. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, he could. Uh, but they have Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook. Exactly. Three. Great players. And then their bench is deep too. Their bench is They're deep three deep. great and but you're taking three Denver. phenomenal players yeah. on the court. You're taking Denver into them now? Denver. Denver. Oh, no, no, no. Clippers. Oh, yeah, Clippers on the Wait, don't put words in my mouth. Um, no, okay. you said Jokic is gonna win it for them. No, Jokic will win the three games for them. So uh I'm gonna say Clippers as well. Yeah, I'm gonna say Clippers. It's hard. It's reality. So what are I think, right? Everyone wants a game seven for the Nuggets against Pelicans? I said, I said, five. I said Pelicans and seven. So, well, my we all had a pretty different one. From my look, the Nuggets are going to do two game sevens, which I think they'll just chuck it. They took a hard one, but I don't think they're going to do it again. I it, I don't think they're going to do it again. I think the Clippers are better than they were that le- last year. Yeah. And we've seen they when Kawhi and PG are both healthy. Two phenomenal players. Exactly. Exactly. Well, well, two. But Paul George was like phenomenal players on that court. I think I think they're sad. We've seen when Kawhi and PG are on the floor together in the playoffs. They win the series. They play. Except in the bubble. And then you have Russell Westbrook out too. Westbrook, uh, I think and you put Westbrook in the pick and roll on uh with Joe Pitch and yeah, uh, like Kawhi or, I don't know. You could you could use them. Yeah. I think Kawhi PG will be the biggest Can make Joe Pitch beat you on offense. Don't make Jamal win. Right. Or no, make everyone else beat you on offense. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, which is going to be hard for them, too, because... Unless, uh, unless Jamal Murray shows you in the first series that he's playoff Jamal, then you yeah, got a few other problems. What's Kawhi Leonard regarding Jokic? But... Would that be wild? Oh, I don't know. I might have to. I, I mean, mean I, he I, might have thought that he played. If you have Plumlee, a pretty athletic guy. He's not slow. He's pretty fast. But Kawhi Leonard's a great player. Plumlee regarding Exactly. No, I think it's going to be either Zubats or Kawhi. Yeah, it's going to happen. And I think Kawhi, 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 or something like that. I think Kawhi, actually, even though you maybe. Kawhi and PG. Well, I think Kawhi could guard Michael Porter Jr. I think PG. I think, think, I think uh, not they must set the corner. Yeah. I could see them. I mean, that's true. Kawhi could be a health defender. I could see them. He could attack Kawhi, though. I could see them going Kawhi on Jokic, PG on Michael, and Russ on the ball. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but obviously, that doesn't really matter. It's just at the end of the day, who wins, right? And I think Cooper going win that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then, we're unanimous on the Clippers again. Yeah. I, I, the, like I said, the Clippers are honestly one of my favorites, especially uh, if they can fail. Yeah. So, which yeah. is a big if, honestly. But Kawhi's been actually really healthy since. So next we have. So Lakers. hopefully, I didn't drink that because that would suck. Hopefully, our, uh, next we have Lakers versus Warriors. That's this, this is going to be more uh, viewed than the NBA Finals, for the, just for the semantics of it. Yeah. Uh, and I'll, then I'll take the. I'll take oh my gosh! This is hard. Because uh, I just believe that the uh, if oh I'm sorry if the Warriors beat Kawhi, Kawhi's the Kings, we know their uh, offenses. Are, I mean, we know their offenses like right. that, but. Uh, if they do beat the Kings, I believe that means their defense will be back. Uh, with Wiggins, with uh, uh GP two, with Kaminga, um, and I think they got a better offense than the Lakers. And I think if their defense it can limit uh, LeBron, if they can limit Elo, obviously, and uh, AD is going to be handful. Uh, I think you know it beats uh, AD is going to be scoring. Um, yeah, so I'll take uh, I'll take the worst. It's a I'll leave that. Lakers and six. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. And here's why. AD LeBron will kill the entire Warriors team. Well, I, I, my whole point was that if Wiggins and Kaminga and GP2 are back, I don't think it'll they, be they, I don't think the they AD can, show. They, can, they can't stop no, LeBron no, and AD. No, no, we can guard either one. I think, look, I think if Wiggins can give LeBron fits, for sure. Well, and... I think LeBron's gonna I, I think Lakers in six. Also, he's gonna show up, and then D-Lo's gonna be the silent killer. 
Well, well that argument is that Lakers defense is not good enough to stop the Warriors offense, and I think I think it is. I disagree. I think it is well, that the offense is I think they, I, I would say more power. Because you got Curry at the guard. What guard's gonna guard? You're gonna have Vanderbilt guard him. He locked down Luca. Okay, you're not Luca's Luka slow. Curry. You're not locking down Curry. With Vando's not slow, Valentine. Mean, Vando's fast. Dude, Jared Vando's And then you have Davis in the hell. And then you have Curry. Curry. And then, yeah, yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna slow him down. She, Curry and I think it was twenty seven. Jaden McDaniels played like ten minutes against the Warriors because Curry we got him in foul trouble. Like he had five fouls in the first time. I, I'm just saying you can't slow down Curry. The only thing slowing down Curry is Curry yeah, missing shots. Yeah. Uh, so I and I think that's I the know. same with AD in this series. AD's not going to be stopped by Draymond or Looney. Uh, AD's going to beast. Curry's going to at least he should let himself get stopped by them. It, I mean, because sometimes I feel like AD is too timid. I think too, the worst. I feel like he's too scared. Like the worst. And he can down to go to the pool. If he can hit his shots, that's what it's turned down to all regular. Well, the Lakers. In, in a way, it also depends on when Malik Beasley hit his shots. Yeah. Yeah. They can definitely win with automating his shots, too. And but Austin Reeves is still in there. If Austin Reeves can be a good defender. True. We've seen that. He's yeah. clamped up. I, I I def- the Lakers, I mean, they I definitely have a better defense because they've been – I don't know if they still are, but as of, like, last week, they have been the number one defensive team in the NBA since they got Jerry Vanderbilt. And, like, the, basically since the trade deadline. They have been the number one defense in the league. And I think that's why. I think no, either way. I think like well, that's why I said I it's not like the Warriors. The Lakers have, are also three and one in this season against the Warriors this season. I think the Lakers take it in six. I still think the Lakers. I'm just I'm just backing up a little bit. You can just not care, guys. They even they even they won three in, out of four games this season. And oh, obviously, they, doing, be crazy. they weren't yeah. even doing that good. I think this playoffs will be the most intense playoffs. Well, most games next year might be more intense, but we'll see. Well, I mean, we can't improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll improve. But all right, so let's go back out east. We got, we both, you we guys had six, Celtics seven, and Bucks. First Bucks. We have Celtics one and two. Yeah. That's so tough, honestly. You said who? Clayton was going to win. Uh, we both had the Bucks. That's I weird. picked the Pelicans, and we still said that Denver because we're going to Jordan. Okay. So Milwaukee were Boston. Yeah. yeah. Milwaukee. They're going to the championship again. That's tough. Yeah. What? What's your rationale? What's your rationale? Giannis is going to take over. That's not bold. Sure. No. It's... The only boldness in that take is if he plays every game at that point. Tatum is one of the worst defenders. Oh, 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 injured oh. quite a bit this season. He's missed quite a bit. I, mean, no, I think and that's 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 then Middleton, too. You don't know Middleton playing. I, he's going to go off. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, Giannis it's not going to be a case. It's going to kill. Probably not. It's going to be. There's no. I mean, you know, know. That's the thing we're predicting, right? That's the thing we're predicting. Oh, you know, Jokic will get hurt in round one. Exactly. That's the thing we're predicting, too. You yeah. don't know. Giannis is going to kill the Boston Celtics. It's like you did not talk. Boston. Boston fans out there, I'm sorry. But you're not going to the skip I, again. You're not going to the championship again. I could see it coming down to the wire like last season, game seven. But it's Bucks off home court this time, and they have Christmas. Maybe. <laughs> We're assuming he will they'll have Christmas. Yeah, let's say both teams are healthy though, but I still think it's going to seven either way. Uh, I think Boston, that home court might end up winning for them. Yeah. Because that's how Boston will last time, right? I in think game seven. I think uh so under the Jula ball, I don't know like to call it, they are like they always have to try to out shoot their opponent. And I've said this before, and so they're just not shooting the three ball well, they're not gonna win the game. Yep. And uh, which happened in the finals. Yeah. Uh yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, I think uh, it's I, mean, I got boxing stuff. What, which I think yeah. were yeah, yeah. I mean, like I really I think really about in the finals last year, trying to bring it back, but you had the Golden State Warriors. Why are you trying to shoot Golden State? Uh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But that's last year, there's no change in that, so yeah, I think it's gonna go to seven like last year with Central Milwaukee at home court now. Oh, I'm not gonna set my series. Uh box is six. You're taking them uh box is five. Oh, I lied. Yeah, they're killing. Wow. Giannis is going to feast on Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum's not going to guard Giannis, huh? Giannis is going to drop another 50 ball. Jason Tatum is not going to guard Giannis. Who is? No one. Exactly. But Bucks and five. Definitely not Tatum, I can tell you that. Do Al Horford? They're probably going to have Al Horford to guard him. Al Williams? He's going to run right past him. No one can guard him on the Boston Celtics. It's true. They, were, they went to seven last year because clearly they maintained him a little bit. 
Is and you have to guard seven in the game. game. It's because he had no help. True. Yeah, but they're saying they still won, so they still are a good okay. team. Yeah, they yeah, still, they still won. That's I, what, I, I'm I, capable I, of beating them. We all have Bucks winning too, but I we we said seven. Yeah, five is crazy. But uh, I don't think five. Five. Watch, right? Just watch. Let's go back out west. Uh, in the wild west. Uh, so we had. The Clippers versus the Lake. You two had Lake. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Clippers versus Lake. Two oh, LA Lake Lake. showdown. Based off 12, last 12 years, it's a sweep for Clippers, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Clippers. Seven. It's tough. Clippers in the home court. I just trust the Clippers. I don't think I can make it. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know. I'm saying game seven. That's all I have. Yeah. Game seven. I don't have a decision here. Jeez. That's, this can go so either tough. way. Clippers in six. Easy. Actually, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put Clippers. Clippers. You got Kawhi Leonard guarding LeBron. Um, you know, it brings back to AD. It brings back to AD. Who's guarding AD? I don't know. You have a PG on. Uh, you're probably on. They put two on. Yeah, Kawhi. Uh, I'm just saying game seven can go either way. That's, I don't have a team for this one. I agree, but I'm going to pick the Lakers to like them more, and I hope I want them So whatever more. majority happens is what the team is for us. Uh, West Finals MVP. Okay. Why okay. Leonard? Okay. He's going to that name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. PG. 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 Oh, I think Kawhi wins. I'm, I'm taking the Lakers because Clippers can never win that conference. True. They've lost the past five years. Lakers in and seven. Else. Lakers and seven. And they just choked. Lakers. Two fair. It's always been like PG by himself, but I think he's going to just happen again. Yeah. Tyler Lue. He's going to choke against his own. Player LeBron on But you two both oh. took the Lakers. Yep. Yeah. That means finals is Lakers I'm sorry. versus Milwaukee. I, I would love to see Russ. Seven the seed versus one seed in the finals. Seven, finals. seven seed versus one seed in the finals. Book it. That's what getting booked. Not Russell. Russell and uh, Giannis is gonna beat again. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Bucks. Bucks and six. Uh, Bucks and six. I think eighty is gonna choke a couple games, but will ruin their wins. I mean, if anyone, that's what, if oh, God, I meant anyone LeBron. to guard AD, you think LeBron's going to choke? Yeah. I think the chances of AD LeBron. choking are way bigger. I, I love Especially LeBron. Especially if you have Giannis and Brook Lopez would probably guard AD, not LeBron. I think it comes down to what AD does more than LeBron. I think LeBron will be no, LeBron. AD's getting locked down. You need LeBron to score and do as much as possible. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think he's going to struggle. It comes down to AD not, not scoring. It comes down to AD not scoring. Think, Unless D'Lo, Beasley... Rui, look, pick up the this score. is the defensive set that um they're gonna have. They're gonna have Brooke Lopez guard Anthony Davis. They're gonna have Giannis guard LeBron. What are they gonna do? Where, where is the scoring? He's at nowhere. Tilo, guard Davis. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put Bucks and five on. Think Whoa. about that. I think it's gonna be a tough game series, honestly. So, of course it is. That's bias right there. No, no, no. Both teams are elite at defense. Both teams can have elite offenses. Can. That's can. the that's the keyword. Can. Lakers can have an elite offense. We've seen it this throughout the Bucks well, that's this year. That's why it's gonna go to seven because they're not gonna have an elite offense every game. So, they're so you think every game they have an elite offense? Bucks will. Or you think the no. Lakers elite offense is eliter than the Bucks? I think the Lakers can win their games. Okay. Well, I mean, it's an opinion. I feel like and anything is possible, as we saw in March Madness. So, oh, yeah. I had the conversation. So. I can't do a mistake. I'm not sure. I'll let this rest. But that's, that's pretty easy. But as we saw, uh, early digging to be Purdue, you know. But we're not talking about March Madness, so. I it's a you come from. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, just remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and subscribe. We'll have the Insta somewhere up there. I don't know where. Yeah. And remember to comment your playoff predictions as well. Uh, make things more interesting for us and everyone else as well. See what see what you think. At, at least comment your finals winner. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to do more, that'd be awesome too. To see what you think is going to happen in the playoffs. Yeah. Fun. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.